Many say Jimmy Carter's extensive resume in the political arena is still influencing local and national elections today. WALB News 10's Lena Allen spoke with some Jimmy Carter experts about how up and coming politicians are using Jimmy Carter's experiences as a blueprint. Yes, while the peak of Jimmy Carter's political career was his time in the White House, experts tell me it all started with a local school board race. In the late 50s, Jimmy Carter was appointed to the Sumter County School Board, which gave him a chance to learn about local government. But in 1962, Mr. Carter decided to take on new heights. Then he decided, well, I'm going to run for the state Senate. He did that, and that was, that was one of the very interesting campaigns in his life. After discovering corruption in the voting system, Mr. Carter successfully challenged the vote and ended up winning state governor in 1962. He wouldn't stop there, though. In 1966, he ran for state governor and lost. But in 1970, he won the state governor seat. And then in 1976, Mr. Carter won the presidential election and brought his same morals and principles to the world stage. He was always the sincere, principled hardworking uh, political leader. But many argue that it's Mr. Carter's post-presidency that continues to inspire change in local and national democracy. The Carter Center has held 122 elections nationwide to teach democracy. By through his leadership and example, it translates into this country, into people looking how they should be politicians, how they should run elections, how they should conduct themselves with decorum and fairness in the, in, the, in the public structure. As the next generation of leaders come of age, experts say they know Mr. Carter's legacy in politics will always be remembered. Lena Allen, WAOB, your hometown news source.